All right, in this video, I'm going to go over quickly on the new deform command in Plasticity 2024.2 update. And it it's kind of a handy little thing to do, but a couple caveats that you have to remember. Uh, definitely do not um, overcomplicate the model that you want to deform. The more complexity to it, the more likely it will fail. So... Uh, so I found out just trying to make this little video. So I've got a basic little sci-fi panel here. And I say like I want to put it on a curved surface. And that's the idea behind this command. So what I did is I built this up on a plane. Okay, it's just the, the, the plane is separate from it. But that is our going to be our reference to the curved surface. So let's go ahead and make a quick curved surface. So I'm just going to duplicate the plane, and zoom out a bit here. I'm going to raise it up here so we can see everything. Okay, now let's turn it into a curved surface by doing a raise de degree command. So you just do a shift S and a shift S. So we can subdivide it a couple times here. I'm going to go over to the point selection mode, grab the three in the center there, hit G, and we're just going to give it a nice curved surface there okay so now all we have to do is select our little sci-fi panel and do F look up deform and what you want to do is you want to reference the plane that it's sitting on and then hit the plane that you want it to go to and there you go it is now conformed to that curve that curved surface. So let's uh, manipulate the surface a little bit more. And G, let's see what happens here. I'll flatten that part out. Let's see what happens. This is a little experiment here. I haven't actually done this yet. So, oops. form, reference, target, and there we go. As you can see, it deformed it based on the curvature of the target so pretty cool little feature there that you can uh, deform things and we can go back show you some more options to it and then select a target okay so we can come down here and we can uh, we can keep the tools it'll keep the original if you need to put it somewhere else you know do it multiple times on multiple surfaces uh, you can manipulate the scale. Let's go down. And we could squish it. That's the Z, I believe. Now, mind you, the more complex it is, the longer it's going to take to compute. So it's pretty uh, computationally expensive to do this. Uh, you can flip the UVs. See how it uh, rotated at 90, or you can flip it back. Uh, you can flip the normal. It'll actually embed it. Turn that off. You can mirror it. It'll flip it around. So a bunch of cool little commands that you can work with here. Like I said, uh, with this particular uh, tool here, uh, command here, uh, just definitely uh, don't, Make your model that you want to deform complicated. All right, try to keep it as simple as possible, and it'll work faster, and it'll actually work. So, so if it's too complex, it will most likely fail. So you'll find that out pretty quick. So just uh, keep that in mind, and that's your new deform tool.